Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the five days of fall. Today is day number five and I'm going to be showing you how I made a pumpkin dinner. First we started out with the rolls and then I made a pasta. So let's get started. We are gonna get started with these pumpkin dinner rolls. The things you are going to need are, okay, I have some milk here, I use 2%. I also have canned pumpkin, some flour, one egg, some dry active yeast, some pumpkin pie spice, sugar, butter, and some salt. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a few liquids to the first bowl. You're going to take one third cup of milk and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Stick it in the microwave for about 45 seconds or until the butter is melted. Once that is melted, you're gonna go ahead and add one large egg and a half a cup of pumpkin. Once you are done mixing that up, you're gonna go ahead and stick that mixture into the microwave for about 15 seconds. And go ahead and leave it in there, and then you're going to get all of your dry ingredients into your mixing bowl. First, you're going to add two and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. You can substitute it for bread flour, but it will make it a little bit tougher. And then I'm going to also add in two and one fourth teaspoon of dry yeast. That will equal to one of those packets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add salt, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, and also one tablespoon of sugar. Now go ahead and grab the liquid mixture out of the microwave and stick it in the bowl as well. You're going to need a hook on your mixer to go ahead and mix up the dough. Once you have mixed your dough between five and seven minutes, you're gonna go ahead and take it out and put it in the bowl. I just added some plastic wrap around that. Stick it in a warm area until it doubles in size. It should take around 45 minutes, but don't look at the clock. Just make sure it is doubled in size. Once it is doubled in size, you're gonna go ahead and punch the dough, and then you're going to take it out. Grease your pan. I use Baker's Joy spray, and then I'm going to take the dough and cut it apart and make the rolls however big or small you would like to. I got seven rolls out of my dough. You can get as many as you want if you wanna make them a little bit smaller. I go ahead and put some plastic over it and let it double in size once again. Once I have done that, you're gonna set your oven at 375 degrees and cook them for around 10 to 12 minutes. Now that they are hot and fresh out of the oven, I go ahead and add some butter and honey to it. This is how I make it. You take some butter, add it to a saucepan and some honey, melt the butter, and then you are done. Then you're just going to brush it all over the rolls. Now I'm going to pair those rolls up with a pumpkin sausage pasta. The things you are going to need are some whipping cream, some extra virgin olive oil, a can of chicken broth, some bow tie pasta, some Italian sausage, I got the mild flavor, some nutmeg, some ground cinnamon, some minced garlic, you're also going to need some oregano, salt, pepper, and some pumpkin. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is add some olive oil to a big pan, and then put your sausage in there and break it up. Once you have cooked the sausage, you're gonna go ahead and drain it on a paper towel. Now in the same saucepan, you're going to add three cloves of garlic, Mix that up. You can also add onion if you are an onion fan. We are not, so I did not add that. Now you are going to go ahead and add your whole can of chicken broth. The recipe also calls for wine, but I do not drink wine, so that is why I didn't put that in there. And then you're going to put your 
oregano, salt, pepper, pumpkin, and all your spices. Once you have mixed everything in, you're going to go ahead and let it simmer and come up to a boil. After that, you're going to add your, your sausage back into the pan and stir. Once that has cooked together for a few minutes, you're going to go ahead and add your cream. And don't worry guys, I will have both of these recipes linked in the description below. I did alter this just a little bit to my taste and our liking, but you can follow the exact recipe down in the description below. Now the recipe does tell you to go ahead and do your bow tie pasta in a different pan, but I went ahead and added it to the mixture and I just brought it to a boil, put a lid over it, and let the pasta cook. Once everything was done and we were ready for dinner, I cut up some parsley and added it to the top and there you have your yummy pumpkin sausage pasta and your pumpkin rolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you guys like the five days of fall, let me know and maybe we'll do something else for Christmas. Bye guys.